Hey everybody, this is Vitorios and today we are going to talk about the Adobe XD updates for Windows uh, about May updates and it's a lot of cover actually because Adobe decided to add five features such as uh, layer support, update prototypes, PDF export, copy paste from file explorer and copy with interaction. And uh, let's start with the uh, layer support. It's the main feature. Uh, if you are working inside the updated version of your Adobe XD, you can see this icon in the bottom. If you click on this icon or use shortcut Ctrl Y Command Y, you can assess your last panel. And if nothing is selected, let me switch to design. Um, if nothing is selected, you can see all of your artboards. So if you have 10 artboards, you can see all of them as well. And now you have an option how to edit bunch of your artboards in the same time. So you can uh, apply grid, you can uh, enable to disable vertical scrolling and you can uh, resize your artboard as well as you can change the orientation of your artboard, switch between portrait and landscape orientation. And if you select some object on your artwork, uh, Adobe XD instantly show you all the content of this artboard on your layers panel. In my case it's uh, iPad slash 2 and as you can see what I can do with this object. I can use my backspace to delete them. I can uh, lock them. I click in on this very very teeny icon here on my right side from this object and uh, I can select as many groups as I want and uh, I can delete all, all of them but I can't lock all of them I can only a single object so if you want lock batch of them you need to control G to create a group and then I can hide or delete or lock this group so we cover that. Uh, what I need to mention is that you can simply change the order of your objects. Uh, you can simply drag holding left mouse button key on your Adobe team are going to add this in the near future. But uh, for now you can use uh, short quotes control left bracket and control right bracket to move it backward and forward respectively as well as you can uh, use a sh control shift left bracket and control shift right bracket to bring it to the back and bring it to front next feature what i want to show you is copy with interaction and uh, it's very uh, it's very simple option here let me close our last panel and uh, I am now on the prototype tool here and I want to select this menu and now I want to copy this menu icon and paste it in my next artboard and as you can see Adobe XD paste it in place so it automatically calculates all the margins and partings and other stuff and as well is uh, it saves its function so it's uh, now fully functional icon and if you if you preview your prototype this uh, hamburger menu will uh, work as expected a very convenient very simple way to to work uh, here inside adobe xd next feature is update prototype now if you save your prototype let me uh, share my prototype i want to share it here and i have uh, if i click on this link i will open it in my default browser and i can uh, as you can see it's fully functional and now i want to add some changes here for example i want to copy and paste it here and now if you want to update your prototype after changes you need to click share it again then uh, you can uh, click this button update the link and now adobe xd update your prototype and open the preview in the next tab of your browser as you can see let me 
show you ingredients i have now this uh, gumbleham menu that is fully functional inside my uh, shared link very nice feature but let's move to the next feature is pdf export Now you have three export options inside Adobe XD. You can export as PNG, you can export as P uh, SVG, and you can export as PDF. And you can uh, open this PDF in, uh, inside another program, and as you can see, it will contain all of your artboards and it looks very, very nice. So let's cover the last feature, copy paste from the file explorer. It's simple. Before the main updates, if you want to add some images, you need to do something like that. You need to un enter the menu and uh, click import or shift control E. And uh, here you need to select all the images that you want to add and Add it here. So I grab, uh, by the way, I grab all the images from the Unsplash library. In this case, if you want to add some images, you can simply copy them on your Windows machine and then you can select any artboard you want and paste them, like so. As you can see, you paste these images like so. And let me show you the difference with another method let me bring this rectangle on top and i want to make a mask shift ctrl m another option that you have is simply drag these images from your folder to the adobe xd directly but it's lead to completely different result so let me uh, show you Inside Adobe XD, let me open this folder with my images and I want to drag this image first. This time Adobe XD resize it automatically and if I enter my layers panel, you can see that uh, my rectangle is disappear. It simply uh, works as a placeholder for my uh, any of my images. So, this is all for today. I want to thank you for following to the end. If you like this tutorial, please thumb up, subscribe, share it with your friends. I will come back to you very soon.